All right, so um, I had, I had this is after I painted the rims, but um, it didn't occur to me that while the rims are off, I should paint the brakes and tell my cameraman set sign. So um, we're gonna go try to find the uh, high temperature yellow spray paint because that's the um, the color I want to paint them. So we're on, we're gonna go to the store now. So hopefully we find them that way. I'm gonna let the rims dry, the rims dry overnight. That way tomorrow morning when we wake up, we'll do the brakes. Let those dry and then put the wheels on that way. Um, I could do the whole setup before I go back to school. That way I don't have to put the wheels, then take them off, then paint the brakes. So I'm going to try to get this all done in one and one go. Yeah, AutoZone, um, I went to a couple different stores and nobody had it. Um, I just found it now. And actually, I was looking at these colors. I was looking at the blue and that green. These are really nice colors, but I think the yellow will stand out more. And this is engine paint. So, um, I mean, it says up to 550. I looked online. It says that brakes would never pass the 900 mark that these says. So, um, I, I think this should be fine. The guy here says it should be fine, too. And I looked all online. It says it should be fine. So, um, I'm going to use this. And I also bought um, another primer um, just so I could get, so I could sand down the brakes um primer them down and then put the paint on top just so i could get a good layer and so i'm gonna use the primer so it could get a good base just so to make sure that the paint sticks and i still have the the gloss clear coat so i'm gonna use that after i put the the yellow on it all right welcome back guys so it's the day after yesterday that we bought the paint um you know it's really early in the morning it's like eight in the morning um so i wanted to get this in as quick as possible that's why um so Happy Easter to, to those of you, of you who celebrate it, and if not, happy Sunday. But um, if you come here, you can see that um, I already started masking like this off. And as you can see, I masked off this part and these two little pins. And then the whole backside of like, where the actual brake pads go. And I already sanded it down, but I didn't show it because some people don't sand it down. So if you want to sand it down, you could, but I just lightly sand it down. And these are really easy to sand down, so... um. That's why I sanded them down. So now I'm gonna primer them. And as you can see, I also primer this because these, um, the rotors are rusty. So I'll just paint them black, um, just so they could look better than rust. So I'm gonna primer these now though. So I had this bag and I forgot that I was gonna show you guys that I was gonna put it on. So, um, I just got a regular bag here and I'm gonna just put it on. It's easier with these calipers because um they're big, so um you see it doesn't like with the other the normal brakes it's, it's really hard to do, but with this it's really easy. It's already like nice and tucked in there. So um you just want to go. You just obviously want to mask up the rotor from this. So that looks fine enough as long as it doesn't blow off. But um yeah, I'm gonna go get the primer. So um we're here back. The the primer has now finished drying you can see so that touch is done um so now like i said we got the engine enamel that's a 550 degrees style number and, and like i said um i didn't get the actual brake caliper paint because i couldn't find this so they said that this one was fine and every website i read online said that this was fine because brakes usually never pass i think it was like 350 degrees fahrenheit so we're gonna try to use this so you want to do a light coat first that way you could come back with the second and then maybe a third and then like i said i'm gonna also do the, do do the clear coat at the end I'm gonna let this dry for now that way I could come back with the second coat and then the third and then the clear coat. That way it doesn't get too uh 
to run in. Okay, so um, now it's been about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and we've let them dry. Um, they dry set a touch, so I'm gonna do it a second pass. Now I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry. Um, that way I could maybe add another pass. They, they look fine now, but I might just add another pass. I'm gonna let that dry and then do the clay coat. And then um, I also got like the little Akibono stickers. That way when it's fully dry, I'll just place them where the, the Infinity, Infinity logo was, but I'm gonna let these dry for now. Also guys, um, this is how the, the wheels are coming out. They look really, really, really nice. It's crazy. I, I know that the actual like, tires themselves are dirty, but um, you can see just how different the, the gloss black to the wheels are. And that's why it's nice to cover up the little tire stem. But yeah, they look great. And then um, this is just like an overview of the, the brakes. So yeah, I'm gonna let them dry. That way I could do the third pass. And then once again, I'm only showing you guys only one break that I'm gonna do because I'm gonna repeat that same process on um on everything else. So everything I do on this one, I do on the, uh, on this one and then all the others. <laughs> the sun came out so they've been fully dried now um and i also forgot to mention that i got these they're the akibono little brake caliper stickers they're the high temperature ones and um i ordered these on ebay if you guys want these these exact ones i'll leave the link in the description but um they just came in the regular envelope and then um they came with like a, a how to apply thing and then um it comes with a little alcohol pad to, I guess, wipe down the surface before, so... I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but, um, yeah, these are real nice and dry to the touch. They're really nice and smooth. So, um... There might not be, like, a spe specific way to do this. Um... But, yeah, they come in, like, this little bag... So it comes with two big ones and two small ones. I forgot the exact dimensions, but um, they're just enough to fit the, the brake calipers. And I'm pretty sure they go like this. Because I don't, I, I don't think they go like this. I think they go like this. So um, I'll just peel this back. Yeah, so you just peel it back. Also, I forgot to mention that um, we're back here at the back calipers, but um, you got to take these little plugs off. The way I did it, I just like wrapped them around and then that way I could just slide them off. So I took these two off and then I took this one off and then I'll take this, these back ones off. And then um, 
Yeah, so I still got some paint in there, but that's not a big problem. I didn't want to get no paint here. But um, now I'll just take off this, the, the tape in the background. But overall, they came out really nice. Yeah. Oh, lo apagaste. No, yo le iba a enseñar como quedó bien bonito. just finally putting on the wheels and um it's very very windy out here so you might see my hair flying all over the place but um yeah we finally put the wheels on this is how they look with the with the brakes and everything also a lot of you might be wondering where the center caps are so um i actually do have the center caps they're the regular silver infinity hub um, center caps um, I actually want the gloss black ones, so I might just wear the gloss black ones or I might put the actual silver little cast back on. I also have gloss black Nissan help cap, um, um, center caps that I might put on. Since technically it is a Nissan, I just, don't, I just don't know how I felt about putting Nissan center caps on an Infinity. But um, I might do that because the actual gloss black um, actual center caps, so I might do that. But um, yeah, as you can see, the tires are very dirty and um also on the rim there's just like a bunch of dust that they collected um just by sitting so i'm gonna go and try to clean these up now black magic no screw bar wheel cleaner and then i also have some tire shine so um yeah i'm gonna really clean them because they're, I, they're very dirty so let's see what happens And then after I clean these and I'm gonna come with the with the tire shine. the factory um obviously the tires are they're not clean but at least most of the dust came off so i'm gonna just use the the wet tires that comes down let's see how they come out I'm 
just looks way better now, and I'm really happy with how it came out. Also, I forgot the most important part. Um, I forgot to mention that if you guys like this comment, if you guys like this video, or if you guys watch this video and you want to see more content like this, I'll remember to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, shit, because like I always say, um, most of the time, it, some people might be looking for this type of content and they don't know where to find it. So if you share it, maybe they'll see it. So yeah, just do me a favor and do that. And once again, thanks for watching.